So first up we've got Clipboard Actions. It's an app that gives you quite a diverse set of tools to deal with items in your clipboard. So say for example you're scrolling through your browser and you copy a word to your clipboard, by simply swiping down you can get an entire list of all the definitions of that word. If it's a location you can see it on a map, you can translate it if it's a different language, or you can even let the application speak it for you, so you know how it's pronounced. And to be honest, these are my favourite kinds of tools. Tools that embed themselves into the Android experience, rather than feeling like extras that have been tacked on. Next up we have the Badge Super Widgets, a set of really colourful, really eye-catching, but at the same time rather clean and flat looking widgets. And as you probably guess by the name, they are made to somewhat resemble the badges you might pin on your clothes, and that's since they do achieve the look quite well. Most of them tell the time and date, some of them the weather too. The only downside here is, like with some other Zuper widgets, sometimes there is a bit of a problem when you're trying to resize them. So I came across Timber completely by accident, but I'm so glad that I did. It combines an audio and a video editing tool into one application, and it's probably the most seamless and easy to use one I've ever come across. So all the different effects you may want to apply to your photo or audio file are listed as separate categories. It could be trimming, pasting, slowing down, speeding up, etc. And to activate any one of these effects, simply click the button, and it presents you with a rather easy to use interface for that particular action. So in that sense, it makes something which is otherwise a rather complicated process really accessible on mobile devices. And unlike a lot of smartphone editors like this, it feels built up to work for mobile, as opposed to something designed for a PC which has then been scaled back to work on mobile. Next up we have Gratis. Now this is an application really for a certain personality type only, but essentially it asks you to input certain things that make you grateful, things you're really happy about in your life. It could be your friends, your family, great things that have happened in the past, and then it'll just essentially find ways to keep reminding you of them. The app is based off the idea that the brain is negatively biased. It has a tendency to look at the negatives in life as opposed to the positive. So through notifications and widgets, being constantly shown things you're grateful for should aim to reverse that. Next up we have Fast Finder. For those of you who really like the idea of an all-in-one search bar, but whose launcher of choice doesn't necessarily have one built in. Fast Finder essentially indexes everything on your smartphone. It could be your music files, your contacts, your applications, and therefore that makes them very easy to find. Simply start typing in the words, and all the relevant possible things will come up. Now this is particularly useful for people who just accumulate a lot of stuff on their smartphone, less so for people who make an active effort to keep their phones bloat free. So then we've got my favourite one on the list. Article Reader not only completely changes the layout of any article you open in it, it changes the spacing, it changes the font, even the colour of the text in order to optimise the reading experience, but it also takes away all the clutter. The app can remove embedded videos if you're not interested in them, unrelated photos, as well as even the adverts themselves. But what is even more impressive is you can download them offline. So simply opening an article up in this reader can compress it, save it offline, and even read it out for you. So rolling in at number 7, we've got Blinkist. And for those of you who have that creative streak, who are looking to be entrepreneurs or self-employed in some way, this is a really cool little app. It includes a constantly updating list of compressed versions of very, very high profile books. So a lot of the latest business and productivity books, some person has manually gone through, read them, understood them, and has translated them into a 15 minute experience. These snippets have been really carefully worded, so much so that even after spending 15 minutes on it, you can have a full conversation with someone who's actually read the book, and they probably wouldn't be able to tell. Probably my favourite aspect of it though, is the fact that for each of these snippets that's available, as well as the text format, you can also ask it to read the entire thing to you. So you can go about your day to day tasks, you could be driving, you could be doing something completely different, but at the same time gaining all these insights. For some people, it is going to seem like a bit of a hefty fee though. It does cost $5 a month for the membership. For those of you who have really started to feel the lack of functionality in Twitter's own messaging application, I think this one is for you. The Aquila Messenger essentially takes over the messaging aspect of your Twitter app, and it gives you tons of stuff you can do with it mostly in the customization field in terms of colours, in terms of the way things look and feel, but also in terms of some of the things you can do. You can customise what kind of notifications you receive, you can see which of your contacts are actually online, and tons more. It's a good one to play around with if you do use Twitter a lot. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. As you probably noticed right at the beginning, we actually cut the intro a little bit short, just because I was told quite a few times that it seems like dead time at the beginning. But let me know what you think nonetheless. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.